How's it going everybody? My name is Benjamin Anderson and in today's video we're going to be continuing our series on the deep link expressions by talking about the link to form expression. Now this is the last one in our series and it's a good one to wrap up on because it is so much different than the other deep link expressions. Now this expression is used to create a new row in a specific view. So the view is going to control the type of data that's created, obviously. And the real benefit we get from the link to form view is being able to pre-populate specific um, columns with specific data. Now a lot of times this is going to come from the view you are in currently or the table you're looking at currently, but this can also be other types of data you just want pre-filled. So without further ado, let's jump into the actual expression and break down the different parameters. When we go over to the deep links section and scroll all the way down, uh, we see the second to the last one is linked to form. Now I've said in other videos, if a value is in square brackets in the documentation, that means it's optional. Now we can see here that we have a series of parameters that are all inside of square brackets. And then we have a second one that is also within a square bracket. This is because our middle parameters have to come in pairs. This is similar to other expressions like the ifs expression um, or the switch expression. We need pairs of values, pairs of parameters together. Before I dive into that, let's talk about the first and only required parameter. This is the name of our view. Now you'll also notice that it specifies the form view name. That is because the view we're linking to has to be a form type. If it doesn't, or if it isn't, this expression isn't going to work correctly. Now, I've talked about this in other videos, but just in case this is your first one and you're not sure where to get the name of the view, you just go to UX, find the form view you're looking for, and get the view name from the very top. Now, regardless of what the type of view is, every single one of them has this view name parameter first, and you're going to copy that and put it back into your expression inside of quotation marks. Now, like I said, that's the only required parameter. If you don't have any other parameters in your expression, you're going to link to the form of that name inside the app you're currently in without any values pre-filled other than the ones specified as initial values in data. If you want more than that, if there's data you want pre-filled differently than what's already in your initial values in data, then that's where these middle parameters come in. Now, as you can see here, I have four middle parameters and then the last optional parameter. These middle parameters are gonna follow a pattern. The name of the column you want to be filled and the value you want to be put into that column. And then you can see I've got another column name here. And then I've got dynamic data that I'm trying to input. So here I have a column called meeting that is in my table that's associated with my time cards view. In that, I wanna put the date time value of today, which is a dynamic expression that returns the date when the user activates this expression. Next, I have the name of the column client. And for this one, I'm passing in data based on the view we're currently in. This is where link to form becomes incredibly useful. If you are already on a detail page and you want to copy most of the data on that row to a new row and be able to change specific values, this is how you're going to want to do that. You're going to link to a form related to that table, fill in the rows, excuse me, the columns you want filled, and then pull the data dynamically 
from the table you're currently in. So if we look at columns, we can see I have a client name column and I'm basically passing the information from the row I'm currently in to the row I'm trying to create. This can be a little confusing, a little abstract, but once you get the hang of it, it's incredibly useful. And if you have any questions about this, please feel free to throw them in the comments below. We don't have time to go over every possible case, so it's incredibly possible that you have more questions about this that you'd like to go over. With that, let me go over the last parameter in this expression. When we go back to deep links, we can see that we're looking for the app ID, specifically a text value. If you are not sure where you get the app ID, you get that here. In the editor of the app you're trying to link to. You can find it, um, it's everything between app name equals and the and for sign that follows. You're going to copy all of that and paste it inside of quotation marks into your link to form expression. Now again, this is an optional parameter and it's optional separately from the optional parameters of inputting data. So I can input data, have all of these parameters and not include this parameter to let the app know, I'm, hey, I'm linking to a view inside this app. I can have none of these parameters and say, hey, link to the form time cards in this other app, but don't pre-fill any data other than the ones that are in the initial value parameters. Whoops. I can also have just these, um, or like we talked about, we could have none of them. So this one is a little bit trickier than others because it has so many moving pieces, so many optional parameters. But again, if you have any questions, please feel free to throw them in the comments below. That's going to be it for this video. We really hope you enjoyed this and the Deep Links series as a whole. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching and have a great day. At Crew Technologies, we love helping people get great value out of AppSheet. We do that through offering professional services and helpful content like this. To stay up to date, like and subscribe, and we're always trying to improve. So leave us your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Been an awesome MC guy. Well, it wasn't quite so, but I mean, Joe, you're an actor. I mean, I did act. Yeah. yeah. I was in uh, theater in middle school and high school, and I was also.